Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith. I'm an EEG technologist and I'm actually studying for my REEGT board exam that's coming up in two days. So I have tomorrow and then the next day I've got to take it. So today I've just spent all day at the hospital. I worked 12 hours and I've been stressing out because on my off days I didn't even study. So I've been freaking out about that a little bit. But my friend in the comments of my last video Brian Atkins, he said, Jared, I think you've done most of your studying already and you're pretty much just brushing up. So there's really no need to stress. And he, what he said was actually right because I had planned on taking this board exam a lot earlier. So months and months ago, I did a lot of good studying and that, that gives me a little bit of confidence. And I've been doing better and better on the practice questions. Uh, today, uh, some of my friends at work when we had a little bit of downtime in the EMU epilepsy monitoring unit, uh, my friend Morgan, she pulled up a list of uh, practice questions and she was quizzing me on different ones. Now, instead of doing multiple choice or anything like that, I was just trying to not look at the answers, turn away and just do it from like free recall. And from the questions she gave, I wasn't able to get all the questions right. Like there were some specific seizure disorders that I wasn't as familiar with because Mm, I just haven't seen those seizure disorders uh, enough times to where I'm like super familiar with them. So I should brush up on that a little bit. I should definitely brush up on um, neonate EEGs or very young children, pediatric EEGs. Um, another thing we went over is uh, normal variants. For example, um, Lambda, it's going to be in the occipital leads and it's going to show up when someone is like scanning a room. I got that question right just off of free recall. Um, we went over mu rhythm, got that one right off of free recall. And we went over like, should you use two different type of, of electrodes? Should you use like a silver, silver chloride and a and gold electrode? Should you mix electrodes? No, that would not be good. Um, we went over a lot of things and I think I'm actually more ready for this exam than I give myself credit for. So. Uh, I'm, I was stressing out because I'm thinking like, yeah, I got to get every single question right. Uh, I got to get all these obscure neuro, neuroanatomy questions right, all these obscure filter questions right. But generally, I think I'm going to be okay now that I think about it. Now that my friends have been like practicing with me at the hospital, even though it was only like for 10 or 20 minutes of downtime that we had today, uh, I'm feeling more and more confident as as time goes on. I mean, I got I got tomorrow, I got to work again, and then next day, early in the morning, 7.30 a.m., I have my exam, and hopefully by the end of that day, I should be a registered EEG technologist. But if not, um, if I fail, well, I think a small part of me wants me to fail just so I could have that, like, it would be a good story, you know, like a good redemption arc for my, for the story of my life, because, like, if you think about like the Rocky movies and stuff, the dude gets knocked out and then he has to train and then come up and get better and better. But uh, I, th I think we can skip the uh, failing the exam part and we'll just pass it first try. Yeah, that's the thing. In a movie where it's, everything comes super easy to the uh, the main character, it's not as exciting. So, But I have more big challenges like my EEG software that I'm making. That's going to be tons of challenges. Uh, lots of failures and lots of things that I have to learn from, but I'm going to keep growing and growing and get getting better and better until I become the best human I can be. A self-actualized person. That's what they call it. Reach your full potential. That's my goal. Uh, my name's Jared Beckwith. Make sure you hit the like button. Wish me luck on my exam. Two days left, just tomorrow, and then the next day I'm taking it. So here we go, guys. We're almost there. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. And I'll see you guys on the next video.